Alright, so hey guys, so welcome to another Warframe video, and since content is a wee bit light at the moment, let's talk about Prime Vault, because it's going to close on the 29th of January. And there are kind of two reasons why I want to talk about this. So number one, it's going to be a very, very sad day for Quiet Chai indeed, because you won't be able to get Mac Prime and Nova Prime with their respective accessories, which have finally been split from the main packs, thank God. So if you want either of these two frames with their weapons, which for Nova is Soma Prime and Vasto Prime, and for Mag it's Boar Prime and Dakra Prime, you need to at least farm the relics now, because you have less than two weeks to do so. And it doesn't matter if you don't crack them right away, because the relics will stay in your inventory even after the vault has been closed. And the same goes for the primed accessories as well, which for Nova Prime is the Edo Prime armor set, the Valorum Prime Sigil, as well as the Prime Griffin profile icons, and for Mac Prime it's the Yamako Prime Sandana, the Distilling Extractor Prime with a blueprint, and once again the Prime Glyphs and profile icons. If you want to get these, get them now, because you might have to wait a long ass time for them to be released from the vault again. And the second reason I wanted to talk about this kind of ties in to the farming portion of the first reason. Because you would not believe how many messages, emails and in-game PMs I have received about this brand new relic farming system that's the most awesome thing in the world and is not going to work once the vault closes. Because you see, when the prime vault opens, something magical happens in the void. The relic drop chance shoots up to 100%, so every mission you finish in the void is going to give you a relic. And you might think, oh, huh, that's quite neat, and you are very correct, my good sir, have a chip. But it's even neater when you realize that there are two capture missions that can be run in under a minute with the right build. So, if you get yourself a speed vault, or a Kazumi Rhino, or Firewalker Ninja, or whatever, just something to bomb rush the capture target, cap it, and bomb rush the extraction, you can easily farm well over 50 relics in an hour. But it only works when the vault is open, because once the vault closes, the drop chance on relics in something like capture is fairly low. And at that point, it ceases to be worth it, and it's better to revert back to more standard ways of farming relics, because the relic drops in something like capture are going to be very sporadic. And there we go, mission success, summary, bam, 58 seconds. Now the two missions I'm talking about are Hepit, which is the low level one, which will reward you with Elith relics on every run, and the second one, and the much higher level one, is Yuko, which gives Meso and Neo relics. Axi relics can unfortunately not be acquired at such a ludicrous rate, though some people claim they have come up with a system that gets you about one Axi relic every two minutes, though unfortunately I have not been able to replicate it myself. So take advantage of this while you can farm a bunch of Lith, Meso and Neo relics, because as I have said already, it is not going to work once the Prime Vault closes, on the 29th of January. And that's pretty much it for the video, there is no reason to drag it on and on and on, so I thank you very much for watching, as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you next time, bye bye. Strong united